This is Ray Weibel, one of the certified instructors here at Rotary Swing. And if you turn on the television to watch the Solheim Cup this weekend, uh, the one American golfer you won't see is this young lady, Lexi Thompson. She is a, uh, the latest winner on tour, but isn't old enough to join the LPGA yet. So maybe uh, this young lady is the future of, of uh, ladies' golf, at least for the Americans. 16 years old, can really play the game, knows how to play it, been playing it, has a brother on the uh, nationwide tour, uh, has been exposed to golf all her life. She has a very interesting move, and there's a couple things in here for the Rotary Swing Tour student uh, to pay attention to. First of all, don't have the greatest of videos on her, so apologize that uh, this is not crystal clear HD. But still, it's plenty good to uh, to see the basics of her move, uh, and especially her setup, which is really quite good, uh, especially on this down the line. Uh, if we draw our traditional lines here on the ankles, this is the second. You will see that uh, she is balanced very, very well. Uh, between the, uh, the the tush line space and the deltoid line space, the deltoid's right out over the toes where it's supposed to be. Ideally, uh, in an RST, you would like to see this line brush the back of the knees a little bit more, but uh, this equal distance spacing tells you that her balance is right on the ankle joint. Now her uh, back is beautifully flat, uh, very balanced, very uh, athletic setup. You can see she's sitting to her left side, has, uh, has a nice amount of uh, axis tilt in her setup. Does tee the ball back a little bit though uh, with the driver. Now when she starts to club away, you'll see that she is another one that uh, tends to get towards a straight knee. It's not ruler straight, but it is quite straight. Club comes inside a little bit, but it's still outside the hands. And then gets inside the ball on her backswing plane. So if you got to go one way or the other, this is preferable over being flat and pointed out here somewhere. So if you're going to come inside, this is necessary to get that club up. At the top, she's got fantastic extension in this arm, and this this arm is beautifully uh, near perpendicular to the earth. You can see she's almost almost dead straight on this leg, but not quite as bad as Brittany Lincecum. Uh What she does on the downswing is going to be really interesting to watch with that. You'll see she is a hair deep. Uh, by RST uh, protocols, but uh, nice elevation, really nice straight arm. She's a very tall uh, young lady and has long arms, and that helps a lot with her swing. Going back, nice width. Fortunately, I'm going to lose the club in some of this clutter back here. You can see this turn. I mean, that's a f full turn plus. Look at her shoulders. And she's not done. Those shoulders are going back here. It's a, it's a little bit easier when you're 16 as opposed to 46 or 56. But that's what's going on with this swing is a tremendous amount of rotation. There's a full 90 degree turn right there, and she's not even to what we would call the L or the three quarter position. So a tremendous amount of coil going on here. And she's pulled this left hip in a little bit. You can see she's back over on the instep of this foot. But when she gets to the top, a la Brittany Lincecum, and goes a little too past parallel, watch this hip fire towards the ball. That move right there is upper lower body separation, tremendous amount of coil right in the midsection, 
and that's what's fueling the power in her swing. She's a long driver, hits a ball a good long ways, and that's why. This, this move at the top, uh, hips then shoulders, some of the students that I have in the downswing uh, boot camp, we're going through drills that are covering this very topic, how to get your hips and your shoulders separated on the downswing, uh, and this young lady is demonstrating that beautifully. The other thing she does really well is she gets that hip back to neutral joint alignment over this ankle. Let me change this color a little bit so you can see it. Yeah. She gets back there in fine fashion. Now the other thing that, that's going on in this swing, and, and even though I, this club's a blur, this lag is fantastic coming down into the impact. What she does is uses ground effect to full force. She's going to come up and off the ground, literally off the ground. Now this is an excellent downswing position here. You can see this club is running just right down the forearm. She's lost maybe about three quarters of an inch on her tush line, but you can see this right heel coming up off the ground because she is you can see her left leg just straightening up into impact. And I want you to watch, get rid of this line here. I want you to watch this foot. This really tells you when she's coming into the ball, she is coming up off of the ground. Watch this at impact. Her foot is actually just coming completely off the ground and moving. So when we talk about using ground effect to get down into the ground and push up, well there you have it. Beautiful follow through. It's not as anywhere near as pronounced on the irons, probably not swinging as hard, a little bit more controlled. Nice follow through there. So a couple things for the RST student. First of all, this this move at the top, even though she's uh, she's gone a little bit past parallel with it, don't ignore this. She starts this move when we talk about the nine to three drill. You go into that video. We talk about starting the downswing with the adductor muscle in the lead leg, and that's exactly what she's doing here. Nothing up here is moving. All this is frozen. The swing starts here. And so she, at this point in time right here, at this point in time, with her hips parallel, her shoulders have barely moved. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, you know, ideally, uh, for in our uh, paradigm here, we would, we would not be as deep, and the hands would come down. But look at where she's ended up. The hands are exactly where we talk about them being in terms of sliding down the flagpole like Charles does. She's ended up exactly there. She got a little bit deep. She got her legs straight, but she got back to it. And a lot of the reason is because she had this fantastic elevation. Now, if she was this deep and she was she had this club down and it was flat with it, she wouldn't be able to get back to that great position there. So, something to keep in mind, most most students, most of the film that I look at, guys are just low and, and flat with the club. Uh, shoulder elevation, the five uh, minutes to perfect backswing video. We have the arms drills in there. Those things are money. And on Mars' first day of fall, uh, we're going to have a winter season coming on. Uh, make it a goal to get enough elevation in your swing. You can get this beautiful triangle. Uh, and get your arm up on your neck, on your base of your hairline for men, uh, you're going to be in fairly good shape. But this, this start of the move here, this is money. This is, this is where she's making it, right there. And then the, the ground effect where she's going to come 
up into the ball and if I do this at speed you'll just see that foot just rotate it's an amazing thing to watch she's gotten everything there is to get out of the ball so it'll be fun to watch her grow up uh, compete uh, and uh, and mature I'm looking forward to that but in the meantime for the RST students uh, take away a couple things from this one I'm being elevation and the second thing being this hips then shoulders at the top this is uh, this is how the professionals fuel their swings even the ones that are going to be professionals uh, they're a little too young to join the tour this is Ray Weibel uh, one of the certified instructors here if you want your swing broken down uh, we have the online lessons packages here and we have the online learning groups a lot of our students are, are shooting some of the best golf of their life and hope to see you in one of those formats soon take care